a video featuring a woman sharing her experience of having a property issue resolved is being shared on social media platforms with the claim that Prime Minister Narendra Modi initiated a grievance portal upon assuming office that allows citizens to directly communicate with the Prime Minister's office. The post refers to the Centralized Public Grievance Redress and Monitoring System or CPGRAMS as the grievance redressal mechanism initiated by the Prime Minister after he assumed office in 2014. However, CPGRAMS is an online system developed in June 2007 by NIC in association with the Directorate of Public Grievances and Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. It is one of the flagship initiatives by the Government of India for the reformation of governance through addressing the grievances of the public. The concept of accepting petitions directly from the public was initiated as early as 2002. We also came across multiple reports of different government departments referring to the implementation of CPGRAMs much before Modi assumed office for the first time in 2014. However, in 2015, a mobile application for CPGRAMs was launched by the Modi government. According to a Lok Sabha response dated 5th February 2014 on the total number of petitions received under the mechanism, the then Union government stated that 8,792 grievance petitions had been received from the inception of the scheme in 2002 to 31st January 2014. The government also said that only 371 grievances were pending for more than 90 days as on 31st January 2014. This suggests that even during the tenure of the previous Congress-led UPA government, public grievances were addressed through a grievance redressal mechanism. It is highly probable that many of these petitioners utilized the online portal which was launched in 2007. This contradicts the claim that the system was launched after Modi assumed office in 2014. As the CP Grams portal meant to address public grievances was launched much before Modi became Prime Minister, this post is fake. Join our YouTube membership program and be a part of the journey of making public data meaningful. And remember, before you hit that forward button, pause.